Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. No so today, we kind of just have to sit around, do more confidants, all that type of cool stuff. Because we have another seven days before Madarame will have his change of heart. Uh, Hmm. Is it the station? Oh. It's this man. Please consider what I have to say. Good evening. Help him out. Right away then. Everyone. Passing on the societal ills we have created to the next generation is not right. It will take time to solve this problem. However, we must start by making small changes. You. I hope you gleaned something, for useful, something useful from today's speech. Regardless of uh, the audience's size, you must convey your thoughts as if you're talking one-on-one. -on -one. By the way, I forgot to ask you last time we spoke. Why do you want to become a politician? Hmm? Ambitious, indeed. If a little ambiguous. Well, I'm sure you'll iron out the details as you go along. May I ask you one more question? What kind of politician do you want to be? Yes. Don't ever forget that. Although what's important is what lies within. Allow me to give you some advice. If you aspire to get into politics, you must possess a central philosophy. What is it that you wish to accomplish? That is the foundation of a great speech. You'd do well to remember that. I'm glad. By the way, my philosophy is... Very well. Never give up until your voice is heard. To get your message across, be tenacious in conveying your thoughts to the audience. Have a firm point of view and communicate it clearly. That's the first rule of negotiating. <laughs> you have me relie re reliving the fighting spirit I had when I first became a politician. God, really? Mm. They're right. I am no good. Ah, my apologies. We're done for today. Oh! Oh! What the heck? Okay. This is actually- that's actually, uh, one that I haven't- I've never done before, by the way. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that or not, but I never did, um, Yoshida's, uh, support- or- uh, confidants, what's wrong with me today? Hey, I wanted to thank you for today. I'm sorry you had to see me acting like such a coward. Right after I gave you that self-important lecture, too. But I'm quite a stubborn individual myself. I hope today's incident was at least a good example of what not to do. But, what do you think? Did you take anything useful from it? Ah, that's a relief. I have to say, it was m almost nostalgic for me. It reminded me of my early days. Oh, I hope our talks from now on will keep giving you the direction you need. Well, I hope to see you again. Goodbye. That sounded kind of robotic. I need to work on that. Also, I just want to state, um, there's apparently a small problem. Uh, Tokyo Daylight, a song in this game, is consistently giving me copyright problems. Sorry, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. You go to Shujin, right? I heard things have been rough there lately. What with that violent incident. You want to go talk about it somewhere? Thank you for your concern. However, I really am in a hurry, so if you'd excuse me... Come on, there's no need to be shy. Like I said, if you're busy, 
I'll put my number in your phone so you can call me later. Sound like a plan? Stop it. Uh. What do you want? You're hurting her. Don't get worked up. I'm just being friendly here. Uh, what the? What are you getting so jumpy about? Like you're anything special. Uh. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for the trouble. Yes, I'm fine now. It was pretty scary, though. Uh, uh um... May I ask you something? So, what made you step in to help me? Uh, I couldn't look the other way. I see. Well, I apologize for asking something so strange. You're headed to the cleanup as well, right? The cleanup? <gasps> look at the time! I'm so sorry, I haven't even thanked you properly yet! Oh no, I forgot my gym clothes at school. I'll see you at the cleanup soon. We can talk more then if you'd like. Pardon me. Yo, what took you so long? Did you really come here from home in your gym clothes? Sure did. It must be so nice to be a guy. Huh? Ain't it normal? And, uh, are you planning on doing this cleanup in that outfit? Of course not! I brought my gym clothes with me. I was gonna change in the bathroom, but now there's a huge line. Oh, that makes sense. Sounds like it sucks to be a girl. It's such a nice day out that even the weather seems to be mocking us. Dude, could you try pushing your way into our conversation a little less awkwardly next time? I bet some Kichi Joji clean freak hung paper dolls all over and prayed for clear skies today. Hey. Morning, everyone. Huh? Are you here for the cleanup too, Doc? You got it. Uh, in those clothes? Oh, no. I'm in a difference. There you are, Dr. Maroki. We're going to start prepping soon. Prepping what? I'm part of the cooking crew. Hope you're looking forward to a solid meal. See you all later. Hmm. I can't remember if I brought any like starchy tarot? vegetables. More like Dr. Popular. I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will be even bigger someday. Good morning, Shujin Academy students and staff. Please pick up all trash located in the areas assigned to your group. Once the cleanup is completed, a lunch of miso soup with pork and vegetables will be served. Ooh, pork miso soup! So that's what Dr. Maruki's fan club is making. FYI, the school already assigned the groups at random. They're four people apiece. Boys and girls mixed. Oh, really? Now that those announcements have been made, please break into your groups and head to your assigned areas. Alright, let's just get this over with as fast as possible, so we can chow down on that soup and get out of here. Hey, that guy? Yeah, him. Is he that transfer student? Yeah. You mean the one in all the crazy rumors? Keep it down. What if he hears us? Ugh. Anyone who just dumps a broken umbrella on the ground like this is human garbage. Oh, before you trash it, you have to make sure you separate the plastic parts from the metal frame. Separate it? How? Like this. Whoa, awesome! I had no idea you knew about that kind of stuff, Sakamaki-san. I bet you'd make a wonderful wife. Oh, nah. 
Sweet, a wallet. Anything in it? Oh, yeah, shit ton. We go in splitsies on this? Wait, shouldn't we take that to a police box? What? How was that weird? Man, this park is trash. The way this was all done by kids. It's gotta be the work of some no-good adults, too. If you don't mind, may I have the cap on that bottle? Huh? Sure. Oh, are you a collector? Uh, not exactly. Recycling companies collect these and convert them into vials for vaccines. Huh, I didn't know that. Well, that sounds like an awesome way to bring more justice to the world. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I follow you. Before I add taro to the pots, I have to rub them with salt to reduce the sliminess. Oh, you're an amazing chef. I do cook pretty often at home. Let me try this little technique here. Uh huh? What the... Why is the wind salty? Uh, sorry. The cleanup is officially complete. Thank you for your hard work, everyone. Would the leader of each group please come and get the soup for their teams? So, after the soup's doled out, everyone's free to do whatever they want. Huh. Including getting the hell out of here. Oh, okay. Thank you for everything. I don't know the best way to put it, but it sure was a crappy time out there. Oh! I finally found you. I was trying to find you so I could thank you properly for this morning. So, where'd the other people in your group go? Uh, they ditched me. Ah, I see. I'm in pretty much the same situation. If it's alright with you, why don't we eat our soup together? Great! Thanks for the food. I want to thank you again for this morning. That man was even more frightening than he might have appeared to you. So I truly appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much. What? Yes. There's one more issue I need to address. I'm also so sorry for what happened the other day. The... about what? The run-in we had outside of the guidance office. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, oh, oh. The delinquent transfer student? Mr. Kamoshida had just told me about you a moment prior, so I sort of spoke without thinking there. I heard some of my classmates gossiping about you too. Real? Yes, people are discussing all sorts of things about you behind your back. I don't like gossip or rumors and the like. And I know this will sound strange since I just met you, but you don't seem like the kind of person they describe. It'd be a different story if all those rumors were actually true, though. What were all the crimes I'd heard? Burglary, murder, and elephant tusk trafficking, was it? Done none of that. That's what I had figured. <laughs> Rumors can't be trusted at all. Yet everyone starts shaking in their boots whenever they hear your name. Hmm? You know what? It just hit me. I haven't introduced myself yet. Here, that's better. Oh, I'm sorry to make you go first. Actually, there's no need for you to be so polite. I am an underclassman after all. I believe you already learned from our meeting at school that my What the hell just happened? 
Just in time. Here you are. Don't let go of things you like, okay? Sorry, I didn't mean to run out on you like that. You dropped this. Huh? <laughs> I guess you sleuthed me out before I got to tell you. Well, you've cracked the case. I'm Kasumi Oshizawa, a first year. That was impressive. You mean that back there? Oh, it was just some basic gymnastics. It's not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Just a hop, skip, and a jump. Gymnastics, huh? Hey, don't you think some of those moves would be awfully useful? I was just thinking about how the Phantom Thieves need to get some sweeter moves, too. What's the matter, Senpai? Wait, is there a cat somewhere around here? I want to learn your moves. Does that mean you're interested in gymnastics? That makes me so happy. I'd be honored if you'd allow me. The only problem is, I have a favor to ask for myself as well, if you wouldn't mind. Lately, I haven't been getting the results I want from my performances, and I'm worried that I'm overthinking things. So it would be wonderful if you could give me some advice whenever you have the time. you want my advice sure I do I'd love if you were willing to lend me an ear from time to time I see it sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me what do you think uh we have a deal joker making yes, deals sir. with everybody wait that's a little overboard but I promise I'll glean as much as I can I've read in the reports that the Phantom Thieves' physical abilities are more acrobatic than the average person's. It seems you've gained an aptitude for specialty equipment as well. Wouldn't a natural conclusion to draw be that you were trained by an expert in that field? Well, tell me the truth. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Faith Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Alright. Forgot that, you know, that she only goes to oh, five for the first part of the game. And that we don't get the next five until third semester. Yiddy, yiddy. Got a lot about this. It shut down. Sorry, my smartphone's been acting up lately. <laughs> it's back. Okay, I'll contact you when I've got free time, if that's fine. Attention, Shujin Academy students. The cleanup event will be ending momentarily. Please do not discard your trash in the bins here. Instead, bring your waste to the predetermined location for disposal. After that, we will be officially releasing everyone for the day. Thank you all for your hard work. Well, the cleanup seems to be finished. We're already in our gym clothes. Would you care for some basic training before heading home? Let's start with some core exercises. Those are the foundation for staying in shape. Alright, I bought something. Hey. I completely forgot that I did so. Oh. Mm. The cat probably won't let me go downstairs. Oh no, the cat is gonna let me go downstairs. Surprising. 
What shall we do? Uh, I have a book, I think, hey. right? Yes, I do. Make sure you close up. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> so I just want to state. I was playing FF Rebirth last night. I was having fun. Uh, Vincent showed up. Sid showed up. I was super excited. And then I find out Vincent and Sid aren't playable characters. What in the name of God, Square Enix? Do we need to have this bloody conversation again? Morning. I mean, seriously. The worst part about it is, to me, that Square proved that they can make a fan fantastic no way, um remaster or remake of a game with final fantasy 7 crisis core reunion which was an absolutely fantastic game and was literally crisis core basically play for play um oh, yes. but then apparently they can't do it with ff7 i don't understand it why would you not make vincent and sid playable characters considering especially considering how popular Vincent is because Vincent is super duper 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 I don't know this one this is it super duper popular I mean Vincent was so damn popular even back in the day the man got his own game in dirge of Severus I mean seriously what the heck I just don't understand it. I don't understand why Square has decided to do this crazy remake thing. I mean, the game's still good. Of course, I think um, everyone who hasn't played the original FF7 is going to enjoy it more than fans that played the original FF7. For example, I've played and beaten the original FF7. I've played it multiple times, haven't beaten it multiple times, because I always get right up to save for Sephiroth, and it was only until my latest playthrough that I actually came up with a working strategy to beat save for Sephiroth, um, which was using enemy skill, which is something that I had never done before. <laughs> en enemy skill and regen uh, literally carried me through that fight, and probably also Cloud's ultimate weapon. But whatever. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to speak over the uh, the Tokyo the Tokyo daylight just to see if maybe maybe I don't get hit with anything for today because I'm speaking over very loudly. So please, game, don't do anything, please. I'm trying to cover up music with my voice. Allergies are so annoying. Oh my god, really, Takemi? Please head to the exam room. Damn. I don't have a death persona. Oh, probably good reason. It's funny, the only death persona that I can name off the top of my head is Thanos House. It's the only freaking death persona I think I've actually ever literally used. And, and then literally Thanos has carried me through the the last part of uh, Persona 3. Mm. Oh. Anyway, back to my complaints about Final Fantasy 7. Um, I seriously do not understand why they couldn't just <sighs> make... They could have literally just taken FF7 updated the graphics, and literally every single person would have been happy as hell with that. Sorry. Like, that's not even a joke. Mm. I know people everywhere would have been super duper duper happy with just a full remake of the original FF7 with nothing changed. Well, Nobody would have complained about that. Nobody at all. Uh, anyway, underground mall. Gotta go talk to On now. We still don't have Yusuke available for the uh, whatchamacallsits yet. So anyway, she ho she ho. I feel like my uh, bond is gonna grow strong with the On. Yay! All right, let's go. Real? 
Well? Hey, I have some big news. The double cream from that famous crepe shop is half off right now. Aww. Oh, but I probably can't take a crepe into the hospital, huh? I really want one, though. Do you think maybe Shio would want one, too? Maybe. In that case, I'll buy two. Oh. Though I guess she might have rehab today, too. Probably wouldn't even let her eat it. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. She also started her physical rehab. She posted up ahead of schedule. I think it's because I told her about how I wanted to get stronger. She said she was going to start working hard, too. I haven't actually seen any of her rehab sessions yet, though. Oh, hold on. Something just came up. That was from my agency. One well, of the models doesn't show for the magazine shoot they're doing. They're looking to wrap soon, so I'm gonna head over now to fill let's in. Go. It's pretty close though. Wanna come with? Actually, let's just go. I'll race you there. We arrived at the meeting shot. It looks like they're having a pre-shoot briefing. On Senpai, I'm so pumped to get to work with you today. After I saw you in last year's show, I just... Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. All right. uh, um, it really wasn't a big deal. That fashion show was tiny. By the way, I'm Mika, and please, no honorifics. I may be older, but you have loads more experience on Senpai. Uh, all right, Mika. <laughs> Feels a little weird saying it like that. Oh, and you don't need to use senpai with me. Anyway, uh, it's nice to meet you. Likewise, Anchan. You're so nice. Hey, can you teach me how to be a better model? You know, your everyday routines, stretches? Hmm? Routines? You mean like singing in the shower? Oh, is that all you do? Then what kind of stuff do you eat? I've been looking all over for a place to import some organic green almonds. Plus, I'm getting super tired of eating queen... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Queen... Oa? Queen I don't know what that is. Do I need to, like, boil it in hard water or something? Hmm? Uh, almonds? I only ever eat those when they're covered in chocolate. And hard water? Is it kind of tough to boil ice? Do you weigh yourself? Oh, of course. Once a year for the health examinations at school. So, you're gonna keep it all a secret from me, huh? I guess... I get it. I guess it's hard trusting someone you just met. Oh, um... That's not it. I just don't really think about that stuff. It has nothing to do with trust, with not trusting you. It's more that modeling is like a hobby for me. What? On oh, senpai, that's so horrible. What do you mean you don't care about modeling for these guys? You said that, on John. Wait, I. I love this magazine. Everyone tries so hard to make sure their product is the best. Mika chat, just calm down. Don't worry, we all know that you're giving it your all here. But you guys work so much harder than me, and I'm still the one getting comforted. Wait! But hold on! Anchan, the truth is, we had both you and Mika come down as substitutes for our missing model. We wanted both of you on the cover, but if you're really not if you're not really interested. Hey, I didn't Don't worry, I I can do it alone. I read the concept docs on my way here. <laughs> what? You faker! You're so mean, Anchan. Do you really hate me that much? Keep it civil, you two. Anyway, you good to go, Mika-chan? Sorry about all this, Anchan. We won't be needing you today. We'll reimburse your transportation expenses, though. And even throw in a little extra for your trouble. Oh, but...
really screwed that up. This is amazing, huh? Yeah. Maybe it's because deep down, I'm not actually that invested in modeling. She sees right through that. <sighs> anyway, I totally ruined the shoe. But still, wasn't Mika's fake crying pretty incredible? <laughs> She'd be a great fan of the attack grace. Do you think... Maybe that's what I'm missing. I don't know, though. I think I'm pretty good at fake crying myself. I know the perfect technique. How do you do it? Listen carefully. The key is, you don't actually cry. What? I'm sorry, but if I were Joker, I would literally have the scar just, I'm surrounded by idiots playing constantly in my head until Makoto showed up. Jesus on, really? Yes. What is called fake crying? All right. But anyway, yeah, uh, I am one of those people that think that, uh, uh well, no, I would have preferred a one-to-one -one remake of the original FF7. What do you watch? I wonder if you change the heart right before. You got that? Like. The day of the time ending, if it would just automatically have the change of heart and you wouldn't have to wait. I mean, you'd st still end up having to okay. wait. Collar, Shikigami dress, fairy Chiang. I'm not even gonna make an attempt. Let's head back. to ask you something. Hi, Makoto. How you doing? Why did Mr. Kamashita change all of a sudden? I'm not interested. You're not interested in this topic? You've dodged any immediate threats. Aren't you interested at all in what facilitated the change? Well, that's fine. Thanks for your valuable opinion. I'll take it into account. going now no messages uh, and no confidants what how does that even uh, I don't want to go to mementos until damn it okay so I guess let's just uh, hit up Shibuya go to uh, 
Let's go to the convenience store. Work at the convenience store, I think. Probably the best idea. What do you want to do? Uh, I'll go work. Uh, work. Oh, thank God. Hey. Hey, on how you doing? <laughs> Was actually kind of funny as well because um, we while right playing now. through Rebirth, all right. Sid showed up earlier than he was meant to, and all that type of stuff, right? But Sid was also much nicer than he was in the original because let's be honest, Sid in the original nice. at the beginning was kind of an ass. I mean, he was really rude and quite mean to basically everyone. Mostly because of the fact that he was a basically a grizzled old man who had his dreams crushed by Shinra on multiple occasions. I would be very upset as well. Uh, but anyway... Nothing happening today? I opened the map too soon and the game just didn't want to load it. <laughs> Who's in the practice building? Oh my god, how you doing, my friend? Aw, oh, shoot. Uh, let me make a quick check. Quick check. Hey there. Alright, well, hold on, because if she's, <sighs> Okay, that's all for today. If you're feeling okay, you can go home now. Hello? Hello? Dr. Kemi's Clinic of Internal Medicine. What? Again? Oh, shoot, I have auto on. <sighs> uh, what a pain. Remember that girl from the other day? The Chief of Staff Oyamada's patient? Her dad's been bringing her here to be treated, even though I referred them to another hospital. I even told them about the metal barrier I made. They trust you. I'm just a quack, though. Hmm. The metal book error was well documented. Everyone in my field knows about it. I led the de development of a new drug for an incurable illness called Crawford Edn? Ed? Ed? Ed's Ed's disease? Although I wasn't the one who administered the mes medicine, it was the cause of the error. With Crawford Edn's, certain dis cells indiscriminately attack other cells throughout the body. When it reaches the muscles, the patient slowly begins to die. There hasn't been much progress made on it, partly because there haven't been many cases of it. I worked hard with a ph ph pharmaceutical company that had reached the final stage of production, but one day I was suddenly removed from my position. The chief of staff, Oyamada, my superior at the time, took over the entire operation. I don't know if he wanted the glory of developing a new drug, or to become rich and famous, but he made a careless mistake and rushed completion so he could use it on a patient named Miwa. Miwa Chan had a reaction that lapsed into critical condition. The chief panicked and panicked and laid the blame on me. Miwa Chan and her family resented me. No matter what I said, I couldn't change it how they felt about me. Not too late. That's fine, I guess. Well, that doesn't matter. 
the development of the medicine was suspended, so I had no reason to stay at the hospital. At least now I can keep working as a general practitioner on my own terms with my guinea pig. That's the new medicine I've been trying out on you. This version is in the final stage of testing. It searches for those cells that take the offensive and destroys them upon detection. That's why it's harmless for people who don't have the disease. Probably. When will it be done? Hmm. That all depends on how cooperative you are. Hey. You better not flake on me this late in the game. I'm inching closer to the finish line, but I need your help to reach it. In exchange, I can offer you medicine at a special price. I'm counting on you, guinea pig. Yes, 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 right. yes, yes. Hmm. Give me one second. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Now, what should I do about that girl and her dad? Being mean and scaring them hasn't worked. It's been a while since I've had to deal with this kind of nuisance. It's stressing me out. Well, sorry. That's all I wanted to talk about. You can go home now. Increased my guts! change or not you do you doing okay my little guinea pig just wanted to check up on you also sorry for the long talk today I wasn't planning on telling you all that about me what John yeah you're the first person I've shared all that with but it was also a good reminder this is something I have to do as the plague Thanks to you, the drug's development is progressing, progressing very smoothly. If there are no issues with this latest sample, I think we're right on the edge of finally finishing it. Oh, sorry. Looks like I've got a patient. Maybe that girl and her dad came back. I have to go. See you later. Finally, Jesus. <laughs> well, okay. Today we're going to try brewing a cup of coffee from step 1. Just listen to what I what I tell you. Those beans are Colombian, a medium fine city roast. Oh, and don't let the water boil too much. You're going to be fine. I'll be here the whole time. bad. Well, I guess anyone can do something as simple as just brewing it. Making a blend, on the other hand, is a different story. Mixing beans at random won't do you any good. And that's because the acidity and the flavor profile all depend on the rate bean ratio. Pretty deep, huh? Tell me more. Oh, someone's enthusiastic. If you're really that interested, feel free to try out whatever combinations you want to. Oh, hands off the expensive beans. Got it? Next up is the curry. There's something special about its flavor. The truth is, a scientific genius actually came up with the perfect spice combo to complement my coffee. Something about the quantification of the taste. There's no formula for flavor, but it is pretty damn good. Anyhow, we don't make up compromises when it comes to food service. Our stuff's got to wow the customers. This is a tiny shop, after all. Self-satisfaction is the only thing that keeps me going. You. 
<laughs> Haven't I already told you? I don't have the money. Look at this place. You see many customers in here? Oh, no need to hide it, Sakura-san. You must have saved plenty from your time working in the government. Aren't you taking care of that employee right there, too? For nothing more than charity? I wish you'd show me the same kindness you show others. <sighs> if you're not planning on buying anything, can you please leave? I'm expecting a phone call, so I don't have time to chat with you. I don't mind if you take the call in front of me. I can talk to your little friend here in the meantime. So, should we keep talking until your call comes in? Or would that be too inconvenient for you? Well... Oh, there's that social services call I was waiting for. They come around pretty often to make sure this guy's not getting in any trouble. Want me to introduce you? Oh, well, that's right. I have some business I need to take care of myself. I'll come back later. Jeez. Does he really have nothing better to do? I guess I should explain what's going on. He might try and drop by when I'm not around. That man is an old acquaintance of mine, who's short on cash right now. Looks pretty friendly, yeah? Don't let him fool you. It's all an act. I have to say, though, I'm surprised you were quick-witted enough to pull that stunt off. You really saved me back there. Thanks. We can make the curry now! All right. Hitting all the wrong buttons instead of the A button. Yay! Still, why do you poke around into other people's troubles? It's way easier to ignore them. Guess that's just the kind of person you are, though, huh? It's that time already? I'd report him to the cops if he wasn't related to her. Oh, but uh, never mind no. that. Anyway, that's it for today. Go study or something after you close up. Getting started. Oh God. Ah, yes. How about you? Uh probably the halo effect. I was correct. This is it. Right. Alright, where are we going now? We have one day. We can hang around with Ryuji or we can hang... Let's do Ryuji. We haven't done Ryuji in a while. Ryuji, where are you, Ryuji? What's up? Wanna get going? Here we are, Protein Lover's Gym. It's 
pay-per-view visit, so you don't gotta worry about any bullshit contracts or nothing. The equipment's kinda crappy, but they got tons of variety. Plus, it's real damn cheap. Totally worth it, even without a pool or hot tub. By the way... Oh yeah, you bring your stuff? A towel? Nah, they'll lend you one of, the, one of them. I'm talking about spare undies. Getting back into your sweaty clothes after a nice hot shower is like the grossest goddamn thing. Ah, but don't go getting your hopes up. No way I'm letting you use mine. Wanna get going? Anyway, let's head in. Phew! <coughs> oh, God! My form's coming back, but I don't got any stamina. So, Kamato! Morning! Get us, Senpai! What's Bonkin? Bonkin? You say the strangest things. Is that how you greet a friend? <laughs> Trying to come up with some cool new slang. Maybe it'll catch on. Can't just do that. Oh, you don't need to call me senpai anymore. I already graduated, remember? Hmm? I haven't seen you before. Were you on the track team? Him? He's a, a friend. By the time he showed up, the track team was already, well, you know. Speaking of which, how's your leg? Eh, I'm magic managing. How about you, Senpai? You still running? I actually joined my university's track team. You'd think I would've quit entirely after what happened. Uh... About that, I'm real sorry. Ugh, I should be the one apologizing. I was supposed to be the leader of our team, yet I just resigned myself to Kamashita's will. <clears throat> it's cause you needed him to write your letter of wreck, right? You were just looking out for your future. But I still managed to F it up anyways. Kamoshida clearly never intended on writing my letter of recommendation. You were just his excuse not to. And honestly, I enjoy where I am now. The track team isn't anything special, but it's perfect for me. So in truth, I should be thanking you for what you did, Sakamoto. Senpai. Always regretted not doing more to protect you guys. I heard some good news recently. The Shujin track team is being reinstated. For real? I mean, Kamoshida confessed all the horrible stuff he did, right? I guess the school got the old team together and told them they want to start, try starting it up again. Nobody told me that. Huh? Odd. The rumors got as far as me. I'm not even a student anymore. Anyway, I heard they're going to get Mr. Yamauchi as their new advisor. Huh? Yamauchi? Hold up. That Yamauchi? Yup. The one who was basically Kamoshida's laptop. Oh, great. So it went from horrible to slightly less worse. Apparently he volunteered. He's really enthusiastic about pulling the track team up from the ashes. He is? You know, now that the team is being reinstated, there's no need for any black bad blood, right? Why don't you go talk to them? I'm sure they could use someone with your passion. Yeah. Hmm. So, the track team's coming back. Good for them. You seem conflicted. Nah, not really. For real, though, I'm glad the team's coming back. It's sweet that Nakawaka and them can start training again. But I'm still worried about their advisor, Yamauchi. He's basically like a mini Kamashita. Yeah, so he's an asshole. Uh... Basically. He said he'd always yell at us in practice, but there'd be a, but be a huge kiss ass when our parents were around. Ugh, I can't believe a moron like that's gonna be advising the track team. He doesn't even teach PE. He's gotta be up to something. I'll do some research. There's a chance I'm gonna need your help too, okay? You'd be free to lend me a hand if I need it, yeah? I'll be counting on you. We didn't got time to be messing around here anymore. Let's head home. Wait, I gotta shower first. See ya.
Yo, what's bonking? Bought that stuff today. Can't really let myself be happy about the track team starting up again. Like I said earlier, there's just something fishy about Yamauchi being the advisor. But I mean, if anything happens, I know you got my back, so I ain't too worried. Thanks, man. I knew I could count on you. I mean, we don't know for sure if anything sketchy's going on. But when I usually get these gut feelings, they're usually right. Well, if I hear anything, I'll hit you up. Okay, later. So, Jero. Mm. Let me right, let's see. Mocha is a port town in the Republic of Yemen, where both Yemen coffee and Ethiopian mocha har harar are exported. The coffee from this region was given the moniker Mocha. Mocha coffee has a unique f spicy flavor and a strong aroma with blackberry notes. <sighs> Well, we're getting better, that's for damn sure. Well, then. Boop. What's up with that old geezer? Is he crying? I... I have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist. Plainly put, I... Uh, plagiarized work. I... I tainted this... This country's art world and... and even Sayuri... How could I... I possibly apologize to... To everyone for for what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> and that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why do he spill the beans himself? Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. The police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. 
They sent out a calling card for real. Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom thieves, huh? Phantom thieves again. You guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves! Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal! Man, you're so indifferent. Then again, doesn't that make him more trustworthy as our leader? As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? Well, what do we look like? Hmm? What did you say? Uh, <laughs> that was a joke! <laughs> he didn't get much sleep last night. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. it. That still doesn't excuse the fact that you guys are sitting in a public open space where anybody who is investigating said changes of heart could walk by and hear you. For good God's sake, at least do it somewhere where no one else is around. Go to an alley, look a little bit shady, who gives a damn, but seriously, not out in the open like this. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw in such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Wait, what? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. <sighs> and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, guess it's just more prep till then. Yusuke Kitagawa. My point exactly.
So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? <clears throat> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Matarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> Exaggerating. He is exaggerating. Oh my god. I forget how many texts you get in this game. <laughs> you know. Oh god, the darts mini game. I forgot about this. This is actually a really good mini game. I like it a lot. I was pretty good at it. My only complaint about. It is the fact that it's bloody, uh, what Shima calls it. Well, anyway, we're gonna do the Darts mini game tomorrow. We're gonna end today's episode right here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please share the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, please hit that bell icon to get notified when I'm making a video. I upload a new video every single day of the week at 5:30 p.m. EST. Today's question of the day. Uh, what's a good question? What's a good question? What's a good question? That's a very good question. What is a good question? Uh, I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna think of a good question. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got a question. It's a fairly simple question. Uh, which do you prefer between these two boss themes? 
Blooming Villain, which is Persona 5's main boss battle theme. The theme that plays whenever you fight uh, an enemy like um, Kanoshida, Kanoshiro, uh, Madarame, those types of enemies. Or I'll face myself battle, which is Persona 4's main boss battle theme, which is honestly really, really, really cool. I think that that's like the only song from P4 that I actually have just ingrained in my memory because it's such a damn cool song. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all on the next episode of Persona 5 Royal.